Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and yesterday was a huge day in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. So much data and information came in, but there was some actual data that I want to make sure didn't get lost in the shuffle. And I'm talking about Brian Neumeister, the digital forensic expert who came in near the end of the trial day. We didn't get a chance to cover him as much on the live show. I wanted to talk about it here because this clip is pretty damning. We already knew that Amber Heard wasn't giving Johnny's expert, which is Brian here, the photos in advance to properly do the forensic analysis to insist that they were real. Why Amber and her team weren't willing to do that is really telling. There's so many times throughout this trial where Amber could, you know, kibosh any rumor or, or, or doubt, and instead she challenges it and delays and doesn't want to prove things. It's very telling and why so many of us don't believe her. But Johnny attempted and the judge enforced it that Amber and the team give the photos to the experts. Uh, a third party could be there. It was, it was all on the up and up. They never did. So uh, somehow, as the trial progressed, it seems like there was some agreement that, okay, well, these files are coming in, but Johnny's team's allowed to argue the authenticity of these photos. So this was the opportunity on redirect where they brought in Brian to go through the photos. And he comes up with some very important data, results, etc., that I want you guys to see. First off, he shows these images. Uh, he shows a, a sort of a video showcasing the differences, as you can see here, of all these photos. But it's the same photo. S countless photos that were duplicated with saturation adjustments and so on that uh, just make it clear that these photos have been edited. Uh, here he explains a bit more. Mr. What was uh, depicted in that video? The same photo treated uh, two different ways. One was marked with the original op or with the operating system from an iPhone, which is iOS 9.3.1 on that particular uh, photo. The one this is 9.3.1. There is a graphic below indicating it. The second photo uh, is marked Photos 3, and it looks quite a bit different. Here's another example multiple photos and we, we'd seen this alluded to but now we had an expert actually and confirming. Mr. Neumeister, um, what's your, um, what, what do we see here in this demonstrative? Um, there's uh, exhibit 712 I believe you have, I'm not sure the Bates number, 712 and 713. Uh, they're two separate exhibits except it's the exact same photograph that's been, uh, one's been edited, one hasn't, or I can't say that one hasn't but uh, the colors have been uh, modified in an editor. From the opinions you've testified today, you relied on no data except for the embedded EXIF metadata to support those opinions, correct? Incorrect. What other data did you rely on for the opinions you've testified to today? I was trying to explain that yep. you kept the What data. other data did you rely on for the actual opinions you've been able to testify to today? Now, this is the cross with what I'm calling baby rotten born junior because it's not rotten born it's not the other guy it's not uh mr correct correct it's not him correct. no it's a correct. new guy correct. Correct. this baby <laughs> diet rottenberg jr the third tier i'm calling him boss baby who came out of nowhere and was so aggressive against this in attempting to be a photo expert over the photo expert watch how team amber in this cross is trying so desperately to you know just completely negate everything this expert has brought to the table besides EXIF metadata. The type of extraction that was performed? You're asking the question- For the actual that, opinions you del you testify to. That is what I would use. I would also use vector scopes. Objection, Your Honor. That's th That was not responsive to my question, Your Honor. If you want to approach. <laughs> hey, again, what's with Elaine's side always objecting themselves? <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. I. You asked the question. We just literally- <laughs> How many times are they going to do this? My goodness. Objection. Here's hearsay. Wait, wait, yes. Even he's like. Can we state the question. Uh, I, I don't recall a question, Your Honor. Right. We can move on. Your Honor, maybe we could have the court reporter read it back. They it, could redirect. No. What, what was the question? Hey, I don't recall the question. Well, you could redirect if you want. Well, what? What law school do these idiots go to? Judy. I believe the question was, what methodology did I use to make my findings? Judy's voice has changed. That's <laughs> Judy's uh, the court reporter in sorry. court. Is, is that correct, Judy? When you were am and yes, it was correct. analyzing video or photo. In this objection case, to video, Your Honor, that's beyond the scope. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's such a dumb objection. He just said the word. And this guy, baby rotten board.
There he is. Boss baby. If you could just answer the question, sir. When you're analyzing a photo, a digital photo, you look at the EXIF data, you use a vector scope, you can use a Pantone chart if that's available, and that should be done, but that's a whole different deal. If I go into that, you'll object to it. So you'd also use a waveform scope, you would use an RGB parade, you can use a histogram, though in this case it's not really all that relevant. You are not offering any opinions that any photovac photograph in this case was intentionally modified by Ms. Hur, correct? I'm just stating the fact that photographs were modified. But, so you are not offering any opinion that any photograph in this case was intentionally modified by Ms. Hurd, correct? That's correct. There's more coming. Hold on. It's a long break here. No. You, you found no evidence of any modification of me EXIF metadata of any photograph in this case, correct? Now, I understand trying to control the narrative, but there's no way to answer that scientifically because given the evidence we were given, there is no way to positively or negatively answer that. It's not a question that can be answered. It is, it is a question, Mr. Neumeister. The question is, did you yourself, you found no affirmative evidence of any modification of software EXIF metadata of any photograph in this case, correct? You, you found no actual evidence of that, did you? No one could tell either way. It is your opinion that the metadata of all photographs of purported injuries that Ms. Hurd has identified as her trial exhibits do not indicate that the photographs went through a photo editing application, correct? Well, uh, first of all, that's not a yes or no question because a lot of the exhibits that you have put up, they're not photographs. They're screen grabs and they've been changed from a uh, Apple format, which is JPEG, J -A JPEG, to a JPG Microsoft format. So you have actually changed the exemplars. You've changed the data yourselves. The, uh, we actually ran uh, EXIF data on some of your own examples that you've entered into evidence. They are not photos from an iPhone. Those were edited in a PC. So he just opened up this whole door to reveal that the because they weren't letting them look at the photos generally they had to be very specific there were all these rules that they put out but right there as boss baby's trying to do his best to just completely devalue and discredit this expert who clearly knows what he's talking about <laughs> opens up the whole can of acknowledging all oh, yeah these weren't even real photos you didn't even give us the real photos you gave us screenshots of photos and if you have a phone you i'm sure you got those i know there's a lot of data and tech jargon that's happened but you screenshot on your phone it's not the same as a photo right you could it, it means it's been already adjusted, edited, cropped, maybe in the iPhone app, adjusted with saturation. There's a lot of tricks now in digital photography you can do, even from old photos. And then you screenshot it to try to ignore the data that the original had. You get what I'm saying? So, so many sneaky things, and he's acknowledging right then, as we said, they are now caught changing the photos. These aren't the original photos, and they refuse to give them the original photos, which is incredibly troubling. About your opinion that- Now we're back to Johnny's side, uh, redirect. They don't indicate that they've gone through a photo editing application. What can you tell us about that? Well, first of all, in this last exhibit, it says metadata, not EXIF data. So that's two different things altogether. We're talking EXIF data, and on the report, I put metadata because I was requested to cover meta and exit data. So it's taken out of context. The exit data is the data based that's embedded in the photo. Metadata can be the file data about the file itself. Two different things. So the way the data was collected, it was an iTunes backup is a backup. Objection, Your Honor. Backups outside the scope of Your Honor's ruling Thank beyond you. exit metadata. I think he opened the door on the, the uh, overruled objection. Overruled because he opened the door and now we got him to say about the backups and the screenshots. Thank you, Your Honor. Go ahead, Brian. An iTunes backup is only a backup of things that are on an iPhone that have not been deleted. It does not have the critical operating system. It doesn't have any of the files that would validate the path of a photograph in that phone. It does not have a lot of the log files. It does not have the Knowledge C database, which talks about usage of the phone and uh, the patterns of how data was handled. All it is is the photos you des decided to save, not the photos you deleted. So it's a very limited database. Without the system registry or without the system operating system, there's no way to tell because it's very easy to modify a, a photo on a phone and have it just read iOS 9.3.1. But with the actual phone, if you were able to 
get a hold of the actual phone, and in 95% of all cases we work, we have the actual phones. It doesn't matter if the, the phones are 10 years old or 20 years old, or I mean, not 20 years old, but 10 years old. The reason is if people have something they want to keep as evidence, they don't throw out their phones, they don't recycle their phones, they save their phones. In a situation like this, there are no forensic extractions. In fact, the extractions we were provided were backups of backups of iTunes, uh, just exports. So it's third generation, and there is no way to verify the file paths and the history of any single photo that we've looked at. That's huge. And so the, basically, if you don't understand what he's trying to say is back in the day, especially on iPhones, uh, you'd back up your photos to iTunes, which no longer exists. Or there was also iPhoto. Uh, these, these programs that Apple had automatically would back up the photos. So what he's saying is, well, these are backups of backups of backups. And when you do that, you start, you know, downgrading all the all the data that has the photo. And so if she had adjusted or or faked images and then put them on her iPhoto, and then back that up, back that up, back that up, and then took screenshot of it. Well, there's no data now. Now you've done multiple generations of a copy that now you've lost all the original information to that copy, which again, why so many copies of that photo? <laughs> why? Again, in the beginning, we saw that too. Why are they sharing all these multiple versions with different hues and tints, almost as if like, which one looks worse? Uh, oh, and let's add this. And what's what's real? What's fake? We now know have, have no idea what's reality because right there it looks redder and more damaged than than it does in the Im images. She's trying her best to create and showcase these, you know, to look worse. And so when this forensic data couldn't get the, the data from them and they chose to ignore it, huge tell. But here we have on the stand him admitting, and then the defense once again walking straight into it acknowledging the fact that yes amber's team absolutely changed withheld photo evidence that is crucial in this case to know are these are these real did this happen stuff you'd think you'd want to ensure goes through the proper process so there's no doubt about it but no amber's team always wants to have doubt about everything because they don't play by the rules they do whatever the heck they want it, it's sickening and this one's important so i hope you'll help me get the word out uh that amber's team is still doing this we've got so much more to go through today tomorrow as the closing arguments come in and so much more here on popcorn planet if you haven't already can you do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit the bell for all alerts smash that like button and leave a comment down below this trial may be wrapping up but we got so much more news to cover we're here live every day on the channel so i hope you'll join us thanks for watching here on popcorn planet Stay tuned. We'll be live after the trial today. Whenever it ends, might end early. So make sure you hit that subscribe or click on these videos.